We are live. I am so happy to kick off this seven day challenge together with you doing what is so crucial for pelvic floor health, breathing. So breathing optimally. If we can learn this technique, we need some practice, of course, but over time, it will have a spillover effect in our daily lives. And this will rejuvenate, it will vitalize, and it will just boost your pelvic floor like nothing else. So let's start. We're gonna lie down on our mat, just finding a comfortable position with your knees pointing up toward the sky, your feet flat on the ground. Let's start with just closing the eyes, taking a normal breath in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, and just let go of anything that has happened before this moment. See if you can become fully present with the breath. So you breathe in through the nose, Relax and exhale. One last breath before I start to guide you in this rib cage breathing. Maybe you want to sigh when you exhale or make any sound. Please go ahead and do that. And then slowly, we're gonna put our hands on top of our front ribs. So somewhere underneath the breasts. Let's see if the next inhale, you can start to breathe into the ribs, into your hands. So you start to fill up the lungs where you keep your hands. And then slowly, gently exhale. So we're not really making any sound with the breath. It's relaxed and almost soundless. If, if there's a sound, it's okay, but it's not like we're forcing or working hard here. This is not the breath. <sighs> relaxed, smoothly, just like a wave that cups, comes up on the beach, on the shore and then drawing gently back into the ocean. So continue to breathe here into your hands, it's relaxing the jaw, the neck, the throat, the forehead. And continue to feel your ribs expand and giving this slight pressure into your hands, if possible. So for some, if we've never been doing this type of breathing before, it may take a few times before we get there. You are exactly where you are supposed to be. So give yourself time and patience. Good, so three more here. Really warming up the rib cage, all the muscles around the rib cage, inside the rib cage, the diaphragm, which is the big breathing muscle, the pelvic floor is mirroring your diaphragm. So the more we can activate the diaphragm and all the breathing muscles in the rib cage, the more we are activating, creating blood circulation, giving nutrition to our pelvic floor. Last breath. Good. And now we're going to take our hands, put them on the back side of the, the rib cage. So now I want you to, to first feel with your fingertips, where are my ribs, which are the lowest ones on the back side, on your back. So either now you feel with the palm of your hand and fingers onto those ribs, or you can put the other side, the back side of the hand toward those ribs, whichever. Just keep your hand there. And I want you to have a connection in between the hand 
and the ribs. Inhale through the nose and feel the expansion and the pressure in towards the backside of your hands and fingers. And then gently breathe out. So usually it's easier to do this on the front side. The back side can take even longer time to find. So be gentle, just visualize how your in-breath is traveling through your nose, through your airways, into the lungs, to the bottom of the lungs, on the back side of the body. And then the expansion happens in the ribs. Good. We're staying here for some more breaths really trying to deepen this practice for every in-breath that you take. Good, so feel that pressure into the hands, Breathe into the hands. Visualize the oxygen moving into the body from the back side of your lungs. And of course, breathing into the front ribs as well. We're not completely isolating and breathing only into the back side. We're using 360 degrees of our rib cage to fully expand based on our own capacity. So try not to judge yourself if you're not feeling things, if maybe something is painful, maybe something just feels impossible. That's okay. We all start from somewhere. We are all in different stages. So three more deep, long breaths here, really directed to the back side of the rib cage. Just relax the tongue, the root of the tongue, the eyes and the brain. Last breath. If you can keep your eyes closed, please do. And then slowly move your hands above your breasts, lower than your clavicle bones. So somewhere in between, high up on the chest. And now let's do what we have done so far. You start to breathe to the front side, to the back side, and then you top it up toward the clavicle bones. And this movement is not just like lifting up. So we don't wanna have this movement, first filling up here, and then rising up like this. This is not the movement. So we want the rib cage to be still. We want to fill up that 360 degree. And then the movement here, high up in the chest, is more like butterfly wings. It kind of spread like this. So it's not moving up. It's moving almost to the sides, a bit diagonally up. It's a small movement. It may be that you cannot feel it today. That's okay. We're just practicing. Okay, so now in breath starts to feel the front side, the back side. Take it slowly in your own time. And then when you feel you have filled up to 360 degrees to the back, to the front, to the sides, you just top it up a little bit with that movement just underneath the clavicle bones. And then slowly, gently exhale through the mouth, making everything move toward the center without forcing. We never exhale like this. 
It's just a smooth exhale and then the inhale comes again. So you keep your hands and just notice the movement in your rib cage high up toward the throat. Good. So a few more breaths here. You work in the base of the rib cage. You fill it up all the way into your hands and then slowly, gently exhale. So this is the most optimal breath you can have for your health for your posture, for your pelvic floor, for your core, for your brain, for everything. So this you can practice every day. It's very gentle. You can do it lying down, you can do it seated, you can do it any way you like. You want to expand those 360 degrees in the bottom of your rib cage, top it up toward the clavicle bones and gentle smooth breaths. That's it. So continue now while I keep on talking. So some women are wondering, shall I do this now all the time, every day, every second? No, we don't want to be aware of our breath in that way. You can do small check-ins throughout the day and just make sure that you get that expansion in the rib cage of this lateral breathing, this 360 degrees of breathing that we want to do. And over time, as we keep on practicing this, preferably every day, you will start to change the pattern of your breath. And that will have the biggest impact on your pelvic floor and your core health. Place your hands wherever you like for the last three breaths. It can be on your body, on the sides, and just breathe this type of functional breath for the three last times for today and just remember that I talk a lot about kind of the function and the breath, the oxygen, the, the blood circulation, but this will also impact our nervous system in a deep, deep sense. It will make us calm, it will make us focused and that is where the body can heal. After your last exhale, you can stretch your body if you like. Do anything that feels good. I'll see you guys tomorrow.